What is going on everyone? This is the last NASCAR fan here. And this is a video I've been waiting to do an update on for quite some time now, but I finally decided to get it done for the beginning of 2023. And that is the updated NASCAR uh, Sprint Cup, Nextel Sprint Cup Series 2007 to 2010 COT uh, collection. I've upgraded my collection. I've found more to the collection customs as well. You're going to be very excited to see the customs. I'll just say that, but we'll get on to the, the first row. We got the Robbie Gordons, the Maypie Menards, and the Monster Energy. Great cars. Greg Biffle's Aflac uh, Dish Network. COT, the only Biffle COT from 2007 that was released. Dave Blaney's Caterpillar Toyota. That's a CFS. David Gilliland's M&M's Ford. It's an, that's a pit box uh, action release. 07 Toyota. That's just a regular CFS promo you could find at Tracks, Or I'm pretty sure you could probably find it at um, Dyke at um, NASCAR racing collectible stores back in the day. Moving down to 2008, Martin Shrex Jr., Bass Pro Shops. It's the regular Winter Circle, not the Gold Series. Kurt Busch's Sensor, number two. It's been starting to go up in a lot of value recently, so better take care of that car. Got both Casey Mears's Kellogg's and CarQuest. The David Reagan AAA. It's a pretty cool car. Got two Mark Martins here, and this is actually kind of cool. You got the one on the left is the Gold Series, and then the one right here is actually the CFS. Careful with that. Casey Kane's Budweiser is a Walmart exclusive. The Censored, and then you have the Sam Bass Holiday. You're going to see a lot of Sam Bass Holiday cars because they are just phenomenal. Ryan Newman's number 12, Altel, last year with Roger Penske before going to Stuart Haas in 2009. I totally remember that. One of Greg Biffle's best seasons of all time in 2008, finishing third in the point standings. Um... Yeah, the 3M, that's the Winter Circle one, not the Gold Series, unfortunately. But then you have the Sherwin-Williams promo that also came out in 2008, from 2008 to 2010. Uh, Biffle had a Sherwin-Williams promo that you could get at um, various Sherwin-Williams locations. Usually if you bought like at least a three-pack of Scotch painter's tape, blue Scotch painter's tape, you would get a diecast for free. The 2008 one was boxed, 2009-2010 were baggied. Promos. Got the Matt Kenseth, DeWalt, 2008. Going over to Kyle Busch. Got his uh, regular winner circle. No EA logo, which I don't get why they didn't put it on there. And then you got the promo varies, the promo one. This was a CBS exclusive, the one with the red M&M in the middle. And you got the regular Snickers M&M's Toyota. It's just the primary, not the race win. Race win goes for a lot of money. And then you have the Snickers um, CBS exclusive that was bundled in with the one right there. I'm trying to point to it. There. there. <laughs> you got the Sam Bass, um, Kyle Busch, 2008. That's pretty cool. Elliot Sadler, Best Buy Dodge. Pretty cool. Tony Stewart, Home Depot Toyota. That's awesome. Number 21 is the John Wood Bill Elliott Air Force uh, COT. Pretty hard car to find. Got the Jeff Gordon DuPont. Such a classic, very common COT to find. Doesn't go for a lot. Then you have the Nicorette. This one goes for a little bit more money. Not as much as the Pepsi. The Pepsi one, you can find it pretty cheap. Jeff Gordon Foundation one. This one's pretty cool. And then you got the Sam Bass one. This one's freaking awesome. Jamie McMurray, Irwin Tools, that one's pretty cool. Kevin Harvick, Pennzoil, and then you got the Sam Bass. This is probably one of my favorite Sam Bass cars of all time. Jeff Burton's AT&T Chevrolet. You got the Dario Franchitti Hartford Dodge promo. This one's pretty cool for a number of reasons because it actually has rubber tires. Gotta be careful. Juan Pablo Montoya's Haveline and Big Red. The Big Red is more common than the Haveline. If you, if you want to keep your eyes out for it. Bobby Labonte, 2008 Cheerios Dodge. The David Rudiman, UPS Toyota. After Jarrett retired, Rudiman went straight over to the 44. 
Got the Jimmy Johnson number 48, Lowe's primary. Very cool car. I just added this today, actually. I got it in the mail. It's the Boris said Advanced Auto Parts, uh, No Fear uh, Ford. This is the only car that was, this is the only die cast that was made for that specific team. As, uh, yeah, I'm, a, I'm kind of a big said, if Boris said fan, but I'm, I'm also a Biffle fan. But if you get the reference between the clash of Biffle and Set and Greg Biffle and Boris said they've been rivals for a very long time, dates back all the way to the truck series. Um, Sam Hornish Jr. Mobile One Dodge that one's pretty cool. Picked that up last year. The Dale Jr. National Guard COT. This is such a classic COT, very common to find, so no worries. There was plenty of them out there, but then you have the Salute the Troops scheme. Uh, I picked that up from a buddy of mine. Pretty nice of him. Just gave it to me. I'm like, sweet. Uh, National Guard Citizen Soldier, Three Doors Down. I didn't realize this was a Three Doors Down diecast, and that's actually kind of freaking cool because I love Three Doors Down. As an adult, as a kid, I, I wasn't, I didn't know anything. Uh, Dale Jr. Amp Energy Chevrolet, very common. Dale Jr. COT, there's plenty of them out there. Then you got the Mountain Dew. This one's pretty common to find as well. I mean, most of the juniors from 2008 are common to find except for a few. And that would be the the Ride With Junior scheme from Talladega. The Amp relaunched or unleashed. Un, it's like the orange one. But yeah, then you got the Sam Bass one. This one's a pretty cool Sam Bass scheme. And then you have the test car that was ran at Richmond, throwing back to the Rick Hendrick 5. Here we got an interesting one. This is the J.J. Yaley um, 2008 DLP Toyota. Seller mistaken dead for uh, Tony Raines. But I knew it was a J.J. Yaley because I'm like, that's not a Chevrolet. That's a Toyota. That's J.J. Yaley. So I snagged that off eBay a couple years ago. Carl Edwards Office Depot, that's a pretty cool one. Uh, here's a Reagan Smith Custom. This is one of the first customs I ever bought. And you can tell it has the wrong decals, yeah. Try to not do that again, but it was 20 bucks. I mean, it was it was whatever. I wanted an 01, and guess what? I have an 01, but with the wrong decal. So I'm probably gonna sell that eventually and get a new one made the correct way. Do maybe a different scheme. Maybe get, like, the Coors Light scheme from Talladega. Uh, here we got the NASCAR 60 Years car. This was made in the winter circle. <clears throat> Excuse me. Very overproduced. As well as another overproduced scheme was this winter circle 08 car that came with every, like, blue um, bus um, diecast, uh, like, um, bin that you could find at a local retailer in 2007 to two, 2006 to 2008. Then you got the Dale Earnhardt um, 10th anniversary winning the day 2500. It's just a fantasy scheme. And then I just put some of my own customs that I've made before. I got a 15 Pulmonard and a 41 Reed Sorensen. I don't really make custom die casts anymore. I'm trying to, I want to get back into it though because it's a lot of fun, but it's a lot of time consuming. That's why I would just pay to get my die cast customed, customized. Going over to 2009 cars, we have the Mark Martin uh, Kellogg's, very cool car. The David Reagan UPS Ford, I remember getting that at uh, a Green Bay, uh, I got that at the Green Bay Mall. I'm trying to remember the store's name, I think they moved out and I think they're over, I think it's that one place, I can't remember where they're what they're called. You can tell me in the comments though, I'm, I can't remember the name of them. <laughs> It's like a it's like a card collectible store as well. They're out in the middle of nowhere, like they're like twenty minutes outside of Green Bay. Now, got the Robbie Gordon Menards and Polaris COTs. Uh, these were actually um, online store exclusives from the Robbie Gordon website. Uh, they're still on there, very cheap, five bucks. I recommend picking them up. Doesn't matter on the shipping. Shipping can be nine to ten bucks, but it's worth. It. It's better than paying eBay scalpers. 2009 Casey Keene Sensor, that's a pretty cool one. 2009 Denny Hamlin FedEx Express Ground and Freight. Pretty interesting to see the ground and freight that were made in the Winter Circle. But then you have the Max Pappas Geico Toyota Camry for Jermaine Racing. This was their first cup die cast ever made, not their first actual 164 made. That actually goes to Mike Wallace in technically 2007. Technically. 
Um, Tony Stewart's Old Spice uh, Chevrolet. This one's pretty cool because the hood can open. I got a couple more that I'll show that have the hood opening. Then you got the Team Real Tree Fantasy Scheme. This is a pretty cool fantasy scheme. I remember getting these back in like 2000, early 2010. Old Spice Swagger. That's a pretty cool 09 scheme. I think he ran that at Pocono. Office Depot 2009 scheme. Very common for just to find the Old Spice and the Office Depot Tony Stewart's. Those are super very common to find, but not as common to find as the 2009 Burger King Chevrolet because I have the other scheme that revolves with that scheme. One of my all-time favorite Daytona finishes of all time growing up. Here we got the Greg Biffle 3M primary as well as the Sherwin-Williams promo. So that's pretty cool. Not much of a difference on the 08 and 09 promo. They just took off the Dish Network and Discount Tire. Yeah. Here we got 2009 Kyle Busch, your regular M&Ms, and then you got the combos. Very common to find both of these, but not as common as to find as the Interstate Batteries one. This one's pretty cool. And you got the number 19, Elliot Sadler. This is the Stanley Tools Dodge. I actually got that at Jack's Racing Collectibles back in 2017 when I went out to uh, when I went out uh, New Jersey to see family. Here we got Joey Logano's 2009 Home Depot Toyota Camry. Um, pretty cool. Jeff Gordon's DuPont Chevrolet, as well as the Team Realtree uh, Fantasy Scheme, the National Guard Youth Challenge. These are awesome schemes, no matter that they're winner circle. The Speed Racer, Jeff Gordon. This is one of my all-time favorite Jeff Gordon foundation schemes of all time. I just love that car. Uh, Jeff Burton's Caterpillar Chevrolet. I got this actually at the, along with the Greg Biffle and uh, Carl Edwards Affleck, I'll be showing a little later. I got those actually at the old NASCAR cafe that used to be at the Luxor Resort in Las Vegas. It got demolished. Well, the NASCAR cafe closed and then it got, was demolished. Uh, I missed the NASCAR Cafe. That was fun. It's kind of like that as well as um, Silicon Motor Speedway. Those were just some of the best days for NASCAR fans to get actual apparel and die cast. Uh, Clint Boyer's number 33, uh, Cheerios. This is actually a promo. Very common to find. I have some customs here from NOS Custom Diecast that I had commissioned back in 2021. John and Dreddy Taco Bell Chevrolet. That's pretty cool. The Tony Reigns A&W. Traps Quapple, Long John Silver's Dodge. So these are all, the 34 and the 37, are Front Row Motorsport die cast before they switched permanently to Ford. They were once Chevy and Dodge providers. Like, they ran both Chevy and Dodge at the same time. As well as they did it with their Nationwide series as well, which was a start in park, usually for uh, Tony Reigns. Here we got the Ryan Newman Army Chevrolet. That's a pretty cool car. Not as cool as the Reed Sorensen Reynolds Wrap promo. This is one of the coolest promos that they ever made. And I was very unaware back in the day of how to get it. And then you had every diecast review in like 2010 to 2012 that would review this car. Unfortunately, I never got to, but I did eventually review it. I have a link. I can provide a link for that review. It's a pretty cool car. Uh, 2009 Jimmy Johnson Lowe's Primary, and then you got the Jimmy Johnson Foundation. That one's pretty cool. I think that was ran at the Pepsi Max 500, which was the used to be Auto Club's second date. Yeah, Auto Club used to have two dates, and now they don't, and now it's going to be different. I hate it. Uh, here we got the Sam Bass 2009 Jimmy Johnson. This one's pretty cool. I love that scheme. 2009 Michael Waltrip Napa Auto Parts uh, Toyota. Um... Recently, this car has been going up in value because I think it finally dried up now. I bought mine from uh, Milwaukee, from a diecast store in Milwaukee off eBay. High Bank Racing Collectibles. Great, great. Um, I lo love that. Um, yeah, <laughs> it's, it's a, I highly recommend it for any eBay NASCAR diecast follower, fo fo followers. Um, go there. You can get good deals on there. Um, Regan Smith's World Vision, uh, Chevrolet promo. I got that back in 2021. I got it actually for a really good deal. I got that same time as the Polaris. I bought the Polaris from eBay and I bought the Menards from a buddy of mine, kind of overpaid. So I regret that, but I didn't overpay for the other ones from the, uh, from the online store. So at least I saved money. Uh, we got the Joe Nemechek, uh, custom. That's another NOS custom die cast. You're going to see a lot. You're going to see a lot of NOS custom die cast in here. And then you have the Dale Jr. National Guard 2009, the Drive the Guard, which I have the 124 for, the Team Realtree um, Fantasy Scheme, 
the amp energy amp up. I love this paint scheme. This was ran at Talladega in the fall. This is a really cool car. One of my all-time favorite Dale Earnhardt Jr. scheme. I'm just going to take it out from there. Look at that scheme. It is the Mountain Dew Southern 500 scheme that he ran in May, and he ended up getting involved in one of the wrecks. But it's such a cool car, and I love that it has the rubber tires on there. And the hood opens up, too, but I don't want to open the hood because I we're kind of running out of time. <clears throat> Excuse me. Another NOS custom die cast is um, Paul Menard's number 98, John Mansville. This was the combined efforts of Aikman, Yates, whatever the hell was going on. Because you had um, Aikman left, so Hall of Fame Racing... Aikman left after 2008, and Hall of Fame, with the Remnants, they merged with Robert Yates. So they ran the 28, the 38, and the 98. The 28 was shelved, though. They they um, they um seized operations with the 28 because of sponsors, and that's how Travis Quapple ended up at Front Row Motorsports. And Paul Menard was let go from DEI as his ride. His points would be used to get Eric Almarola, which then Almarola was fired because um, sponsorship issues, and El Morello would end up at, at um, KBM, and then eventually Junior Motorsports, and then Petty, and then, yeah, Stuart Haas. <laughs> Very interesting. Uh, there's the Carl Edwards Affleck I was talking about. Got that at the NASCAR Cafe back in 2009. Um, this is the Casey Mears Jack Daniels Custom. That's another NOS Custom diecast, as well as the Brad Kozlowski Mikasuki you got to have this. If you're going to be a custom, if you want to get a custom die cast, this is like a must custom die cast that you ha should have because it is such a beautiful scheme and it is such a memorable scheme. And then we got a Digger Happy Holidays car. I really like that scheme. I just love the Sam Bass cars in general. And then we got a couple customs. This is uh, the number four of Eric McClure. Uh, rest in peace. That's the um, hefty, um, one of the hefty schemes he ran. I think he ran that at Talladega or attempted at Talladega and, and then Morgan McClure. Uh, seized operations after the end of 2009. And then you have the Mike Garvey, number 73. He and uh, Tony Raines, they split time in that 73 car. And then it ended up seizing operations as well at the end of 2009. I'll probably get these recommissioned as actual customs. And then I don't know what I'm going to do with those. I'll probably make just more fancy schemes. Holy crap, if you've been watching this thing, thank you so much. Because this has been such a long time in the making. On to the final one, 2010 cars, Jamie McMurray's McDonald's. I love this scheme so much. I actually got that off the NASCAR online store. Technically pre-ordered it back when pre-ordering was necessary. Got the CarQuest Auto Parts, um, Mark Martin. Got that actually at the MSRA Back to the 50s car show in 2019. Well, wow, it's been a while. Well, I won in 2022 because I skipped 2021. And 2020, we couldn't go because of COVID. Uh, HendrickCars.com. This was another 2010 car I got back in the day. David Reagan, UPS Ford. I actually got that in a lot. Uh, Casey Kane's uh, Richard Petty Motorsports, number nine. Um, I got that actually from uh, Race Car Graveyard, actually. I got a good deal on that one. Denny Hamlin, FedEx Express, uh, Winter Circle. Got that for two bucks from from a Minnesota from a antique store in Minnesota. Uh, Denny Hamlin, FedEx Office, King uh, FedEx Office, excuse me, not Kinko's, FedEx Office. Um, got that from NASCAR online store way back in the day. Tony Stewart, Old Spice Chevrolet. I believe I got that one off the online store as well, or I got it in Vegas. I can't remember. The Matterhorn. I know I got from the online store because it's such a cool car. And then we have the Office Depot 2010 car, which I got that as well with the Denny Hamlin. Should have probably bought all those COTs because I could have made a bunch of money with them. Um, 2010 Tony Stewart, Office Depot back to school. Uh, sadly, I I broke this one, sort of. I broke the the plastic uh, window right over here, so that's going to decrease in value. I don't care, though. And then you have the Fantasy Smoke car. This is a pretty cool car. You got the Greg Biffle Primary 3M, such a cool scheme. The 2010 Sherwin Williams promo. The Matt Kenseth Valvoline scheme. I actually bought that one actually at the Matt Kenseth Museum that doesn't exist anymore in Cambridge, Wisconsin. Got the 
Kyle Busch Snickers, M&M's, that's a winner's circle. The Pedigree, that one was from the NASCAR Online store. Joey Logano's 2010 Home Depot, I got that one at that antique store along with the uh, Hamlin and uh, Tony Stewart. Um, here's the Jeff Gordon Pepsi Max, that was also from the online NASCAR Online store back in 2010. Same thing with the Harvick Reese's, love this scheme. Here's another custom from NOS Custom Diecast. It's Reed Sorensen's Dollar General uh, Colgate Toyota Camry for Braun Racing. Braun Racing did attempt cup races a couple, and then they just slowly peeled away and went back to Xfinity before selling everything to, um, I think it was H. Scott. I think it was H. Scott. I think it was H. Scott. Yeah, I think it was H. Scott Motorsports. Yep, H. Scott. Um, Clint Boyer's. Cheerios and BB&T Chevrolets. These are awesome schemes to have. And then you got you got a couple more customs. It's the Mike Bliss Wave Energy Drink. Such a cool scheme. And the David Gill and Taco Bell uh, Ford Fusion. Awesome cars. Ryan Newman's Haas Automation Chevrolet. I had a Tornado's one. I got remember I remember getting my Tornado's one, but it got lost in the mail sadly. So that sucked. Um, Juan Pablo Montoya's Target Chevrolet, that uh, one was from the online store as well. Here we got AJ Allmendinger's Best Buy Primary, I remember getting that at the Minnesota Motorsports Gives Back. Uh, really cool thing that they had, it was at Elko Speedway, they got NASCAR drivers to come out, see fans, and then they would do like, uh, le they'd race in Legends, Legends for like, they'd race in like little Legend cars for like 20 laps at Elko. It was pretty fun. So I got to meet A.J. Allmendinger that year along with Clint Boyer, Greg Biffle, uh, Richard Petty. And then the year after, I was able to meet uh, Trevor Bain, Marcus Ambrose, Jason Luffler. Well, I met, I met Jason Luffler twice, and that was before he died. And then we got the A.J. Allmendinger uh, Best Buy gift card. This was a promo exclusive to uh, Best Buy, 2009-2010. They had, they had a Saddler one. One of my buddies has the Saddler ones. Um... Jimmy Johnson's Lowe's Primary, that's such a cool car. I uh, got the Team Lowe's Racing United Scheme, that's such a cool car. That was from the online store, and I believe I got that Johnson right there from Las Vegas. I did, yes, at the Bass Pro Shops. Um, Martin Tricks Jr.'s Napa Toyota, Seen Better Days. I played with this car a lot, so I've seen a lot of better days. Oh my gosh. That was from the online store, though. Sam Hornish Jr. Mobile One Dodge Charger. Um, that was from the online store as well. NASCAR online store, to be exact. Bryant Vickers 2010 Red Bull Toyota. One of my all-time favorite Red Bull cars of all time. Such a, such a cool car. Online store. Uh, Dale Jr.'s Amp Energy. I got that at the Las Vegas Bass Pro Shops. Um... Carl Edwards, Aflac Silver Scheme. I got, I think that was a Winter Circle car. Dave Rudman, Aaron's Toyota. Bought it used off eBay. Needed it. <laughs> and then we got the Fantasy Digger Schemes, which are pretty cool. Pretty good for customs, though. And that's going to wrap it up. Thank you so much for watching. Comment, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell for new videos. I'll see you in the next video. Take care, everyone. Have a good one. Keep on collecting.